Fourth of July is an intense holiday for me. I'm kind of torn between celebration and the history of it for my people and other people's perspective of its of it. Yet I'm proud to be American. I will lay down my life for this country. And yet there are some unproud things in our history that we have done. I wasn't a part of it, but boy, I can feel it. It is not 16 or 1700 right now. It is 2024. What is mine to do now? There was a time in my life where I was trying to dive into my ancestry, into ancient ways of being, because I thought that's who I was. I can't go back to whatever culture, whatever ways of being that was before. And I don't know what's going to happen, but I know I can do something now. I can bring the love, the governance of love now, best way I can, with the fears and the love that I come from. Being as understanding and forgiving of myself and others as best I can, and yet bringing the power of the truth and life into this moment through me. I recently read a, wrote a blog about boundaries versus empowerment and how sometimes we, we put up boundaries to protect ourselves, right? Boundaries to identify who we are. I am this, not that. And sometimes we can just get so lost in that. And it dries up. It dries up our substance. It dries up who we are by cutting ourselves off to the potentiality of our beingness. Yes, we have to live and have boundaries and discernment. Ooh, similar situation. Remember what happened last time. But maybe this time can be different. Maybe if I stand more in the truth of my being and open up to the love that's available, maybe I can change, heal, that memory that's so visceral in myself that is actually controlling how I am in the world and be free of it, taking back my power, taking back my authority in my life. I'm for this. Because my invitation here today is to be gentle with ourselves and keep our eye on the horizon. So that's where we're going together.